Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25931. This was released by Microsoft a few hours ago, and in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, with this build for for the Canary channel, Microsoft is also offering the latest ISOs for uh, this version. You can just go into the official Microsoft website, select the edition, for example, the latest build for the Canary channel. Click on confirm, you're gonna have to select the product language, in this case, maybe English United States, confirm, and there you go, you're gonna have the ISO available to you. Of course, in the Canary channel, don't forget that a lot of new features are coming from the dev channel, such as the Emoji 15 support, voice access is now available to more areas on Windows, such as the lock screen, and of course, more small things are being added from the dev channel and I think that is pretty nice. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that DC location will no longer use NetBIOS slash Win slash Mail slot based discovery by default and this is basically related to the Windows Internet name service deprecation and also the remote mail slots. As part of these deprecations, DC location in your environment may be affected mainly because many legacy applications still specify short NetBIOS style domain names when trying to locate a domain controller. So if you want to learn more info about this, you can check out the article below in the video's description. Microsoft is also adding a new expiry date for the Insider preview builds and basically for the Canary channel they've been updated to the 15th of 9th 2024 starting with the build 25,931. Of course make sure you are updated to the latest build in the Canary channel because they have limited support and limited lifetime. In addition to the camera app and Cortana, the photos app people app and remote desktop client can be uninstalled. So I think this is pretty interesting. If you right click on the photos app, you now have the uninstalling option. Also people, if you have it installed, of course, and remote desktop connection yet again can be uninstalled. Microsoft also added the extra fields to show in the details pane in regards to file explorer, including image dimensions for pictures, number of pages for docx files, space use and free information for drives and many others. Regarding dynamic lighting, you can now instantly sync your Windows accent color with the devices around you with the match my windows accent color toggle under effects for dynamic lighting and settings personalization and dynamic lighting as you can see if you click on effects you have here this new option match my windows accent color you can turn it on to instantly sync your windows accent color with the devices that you're using regarding windows spotlight after doing an os update in certain cases such as using the default windows 11 background or a solid color windows spotlight may be enabled for you if you decide you don't want windows spotlight enabled you can turn it off and in future OS updates it should not be enabled for you again unless you choose to re-enable the experience. Another change in this Canary channel build is that system components are now labeled as system also inside the search box. This was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter so shout out to him for this discovery. Basically all the system apps should now be labeled as system inside the search UI. For example let's search for another app as you can see Windows Security yet again labeled as system. Also the preview thumbnails for certain files inside the recommended section of the start menu was fixed basically when there is no thumbnail to be shown the pop-up will show like this to not have a lot of empty space inside of it so i think that is pretty nice this was also discovered by phantom machine 3 and also discovered by phantom machine 3 is the fact that inside the oob section of the windows installation process you will also have starting with this build the new presence sensing toggle that you can turn on of course if your system supports it and we also have one fix for this build microsoft fixed a major issue where you could no longer connect over smb to a third-party storage device using guest, no username or password credentials. And basically, this is all there is to it to the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. Please don't forget to state your opinion on this build in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the TechBase channel. I was Jamal from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.